All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do another vertical barn painting today. And we're just going to grab some random collars. And we're going to start throwing them in. I got a whole lot of brown right here that's really I'm going to wind up wasting most of it. I don't know why I put so much on my palette. This is from a few days ago. And man, I got to use it somewhere. So I'm going to throw some of it in here. So after today, it's going to the trash heap. But I don't like, and, I, and I've said this before, but sometimes you have to. I don't like really doing vertical paintings because they don't fit the camera real well. But um, sometimes they're necessary. I mean, this is one of them that it looks a lot better vertically. And you just got to do it. So that's what we're doing today. You, you can see I don't have a bunch on my palette here right now. I'm just randomly throwing stuff in. I want this barn to be kind of a kind of a bluish, have blue, more be on the blue, black, and white side, which is gray, bluish gray. That's what I'm trying to say. About like that. With random collars in it. Um, here's some alizarin crimson. Why not? Let's throw some of it in. This is I got this mainly out for the roof part, which is a little bit right there. But it looks good other places. Um, Prussian blue, black, some white, throw some brown in. This is a field back in here with some trees. This is grass. This is dark. I can use a little brown here. I'm just trying to get rid of some of this brown. I'll never get rid of all this. Got too much brown out the other day, and it's, it's sat here for two days, and that's the limit. It's already getting chunky and kind of nasty, so I'll have to toss it. After this, after I put these collars down, it's going bye-bye. Okay, we'll throw some of this here. I'll just quickly do this real fast, because you, you guys have seen what I do. And then I take a one-inch brush and, and mix it all up. Let's throw some on the roof. This is kind of a reddish tone. I got some burnt sienna. This roof is definitely reddish looking. Got a touch of it showing right there. Yeah, I'll take a one inch brush and I just mix all this up. And that's our base color. That's what we'll work off of tomorrow. Because I say tomorrow, I'm going to let this sit and dry tonight. It's easier if you let it sit and dry for a day after you put a bunch of color on it. For me, it is. Still a little burnt sienna in here. I like burnt sienna, it's a nice color. Reminds me of rust. <laughs> I'm not sure why I like rust. I guess I, I guess I do. I like burnt sienna. Kind of an orangish reddish tone to it. But I'm gonna keep doing this. All I'm doing is putting collar down. This is gonna be greenish. Probably put some dark back in here. I'll probably put some trees back in this area. This is grass, a field. And this is grass, and that's what I'm going to do, and that'll get us started. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. This is still the same day. I said I was going to quit after I put my collar down. I guess I kind of fibbed. I was really going to, but um, I just want to show you what I'm doing here, because it's, it's important if you paint at home. If you don't, don't worry about it. But this is how I get a lot of the mixture of the collars on my barn is I'm just taking random collars. This is some brown. I just took my brush and kind of rolled it in. This is some white. This is Prussian blue, black, all mixed up. This is how I get a nice variety of collars. Because an old barn has a nice variety of collars. It's not just green or red. It's not hardly ever green. Red. It's not just red or brown or blue. It's a nice mix of different kinds of collars. 
And I do, like I said, I do have a picture that I'm looking at today, thank goodness. Because this is a close-up barn. They, these boards got to look pretty good. I mean, they got to have some, some variety to them. This isn't, you know, a barn sitting at a distance where you can't tell what's going on. This one's close up. So I'm just, I'm just varying collars. I'm putting all kinds of different flavors, so to speak, of collars. Here's some raw umber. This is real dark. I mean, it's important that you see this if you, if you do paint. If you're wondering, how in the world do these collars get so mixed up? Well, this is how. Because a barn has many, on these boards, these boards are old. They got many different collars. Got a little red in them. Got a little this, a little of that. Here's some lizard and crimson. I might as well, since I said red, let's do some red in. I mean, I'll go over this again. This is my second time. I put the collar down first. Now this is number two. This is number two. My second layer of paint. And by tomorrow, this will be a little bit dry for me. And then I'll do another layer of paint till I get it the way I want it. You know, it sounds like a big deal, but, but it's if you paint all the time, it's not that big a deal. It's just something that you do. You got to layer your paint. Layer it on. It's not that big of a deal. It just it just kind of sounds like it. It just takes time. It's like anything else. Black, Prussian blue, white, some red, why not? Just throw it in. See, this is a little too light, but that's okay. It's a good, it's a mix, a good mix of collars. And, and this is how I do this. If you, just in case you were wondering, if you wasn't wondering, <laughs> then that's okay too. But this is going to be a door right here. This is a little lighter, has a little lighter shade to it. And I'll throw some, a little bit, make it a little bit lighter. I said, we got quite a bit of work to do, but I had some extra time this evening. I was going to quit, but I thought, eh, why not just do a little bit more? I'll be that much further ahead. This is some black. I grabbed a little bit of black. Just to darken it a little. Yeah, this part of the paint is pretty easy because all I'm doing is just throwing stuff in. The details is gets a little bit more complicated, but not that big a deal. I, lo I love barn paintings. They they really fit any room. I mean, if you want to hang them up on a wall, they pretty much fit. They they go good with just a, just about everything really. And it's not just that reason. I just like barns. I live here in West Virginia. You know, barns are a thing of the past, man, I, and I like them. They're going away quick. People still have barns, but not like they used to. And I like old painting old rustic stuff anyway. So this really fits up my alley, so to speak. Yeah, that's a that's a good variety of collars right there. I mean it really is. This area here needs a little something. It's supposed to be dark right back in here, darker than this. That's darker than that. This is a shadow area right here. So I kind of got to be careful how much stuff I put in here. Put some brown back in here. There. Okay, just wanted to show you what I was doing. And I think I am going to quit for the day now. Yeah, I might do this, but... <laughs> After I do this, I'll throw a little bit more color up in here. After that, I am quitting for the day because everything is wet, so we're good. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. This is the next day. Um, I took a flat brush and I went up and down, made some board-like action, 
and some of these boards are closer than others and I'm gonna take a palette knife for these real close up board or the boards that are close together and I'm just gonna run it up through here just make little indications of boards where I can see that there is boards you know this is a barn this is rough this is not you know you don't need everything perfect by no means barns are rough looking and that's why i like them just get it on your knife the best you can and some of these boards have big gaps but some of these some of these also don't and we're just that's all i'm doing just running a knife up and down through here just to give the indication of cracks in the boards And this is one way to do it. You can also take a, br a little a small brush and do it also, but this is just one way. And this is all I'm doing. Making cracks in the boards. I'm just using black right now. Just using black. I may put a barn door in here if it, when it's all said and done. I'm not sure. The picture don't. It has some kind of a door, but I don't like it. So I'm not going to put the one that's in the picture. This is an actual picture. This is a tobacco barn. It's got tobacco hanging here. And I'll show you, if I, if I do it, I may change my mind and not put tobacco there. But if I do it, I'll explain why it's hanging there, because a lot of people don't know how tobacco is grown and stuff and what they do with it. But they hang it up. It's grown in a field like a crop, because it is, and they hang it and let it dry, hang it in a barn and let it dry. And, it, and that's what this is. This is a tobacco barn. It's got tobacco hanging in it. See, you learn something today if you didn't know that. <laughs> a lot of people don't. I, I, I lived in Kentucky for, uh, Kentucky for, 23 years and that's a big tobacco state otherwise I may not even know you know it's just one of them things it's one of them things that's probably not real important anyway but it's just something to learn something to know I mean in case you're ever on a quiz show or something <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this. This is this is what I'm doing right here and just keep messing around with it until we get it the way we want it and I'll bring you back and we'll work on this area right in here, the bottom area. Okay, let's go ahead and put our grass in. I was I was seeing what this was going. I was going to take a road run it through here. I don't think I like it. Um, I don't know. This ain't bad. I don't like this. So we're I'm just going to cover it up. <laughs> That's what you do. If you don't like it, you cover it up. I want to start with some grass. This is Cad Yellow Light. Start here in the back. Because it's further away, it's going to be lighter in color. I'll have to hit the edges of these, this barn here again. I'm pretty sure I can cover this up. One way or the other, I'm going to cover this up, <laughs> this road. One way or the tether. And I'm just pushing up on my brush. That's why I go through so many brushes. I tear them up. But this is how I like to use a fan brush on grass and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and start incorporating some green. So I've got to cover this mess up that I made here. I mean, I can go over it again if I have to. And I, I might have to, I don't want it showing through. But I think this probably would be okay. It's a little more texture than I want this far back, but we'll work with it. Yeah, I put the road in, I thought, well, that'd be nice to have a road going through, and it, and it probably would, it just. I don't know, just something about this down here I didn't like too well. So, if you don't want something, you just don't put it in. I 
I didn't like it, so I'm covering it up. Um, I'm going to put some dark grass in here, but I'm going to skip that for now. Because as soon as I get my brush in some blue, it's pretty much contaminated. You know how that is. You know how that goes. You get any blue on your brush, and it's pretty much no good for anything else. I'm quickly running out of green. You always think you have enough. Man, I may have to just throw this brush away. <laughs> oh, goodness. This brush here has just, I mean, it's about had it. Ah, oh, well. well. Anyways, I'm just going to keep doing this right here. And I'll bring you back. I'm just putting the grass down. I'll bring you right back. Okay, I am putting a viney thing. That's what I'm going to call it, a viney thing. Going up to the side of this barn right here. It needs something right here. And like I said, this is from an actual picture. And there is something right here. So I'm not making this up too much. It's not quite this big. But <laughs> um, I'm wanting the sun, from what I'm seeing... I want it kind of coming down this angle today. So, for, so on the left side of this is where I'm going to focus most of my highlights. I'm mainly using yellow with a, some, with a little bit of green because this is black and Prussian blue right here. And yellow hits blue, it turns green anyway. So I'm just focusing mainly on this left side. I want to leave the dark. There's a lot of dark I want to leave in here. Dark is your friend. Darkness is just as important as light when it comes to painting. So we definitely want to leave some darkness, mainly on the right side, as you can see as I'm going up. If the sun is coming down this way, that's where that's the way you want it. That's the way I want it. <laughs> The way I want it anyway, isn't it? Because that'll represent some shadow. And we're just going to take it all the way up. And now I am going to get, clean my brush off a little bit. And I'm going to make this a little brighter. I'm just going to use pure yellow. And I'm going to put it where I think the sun will be hitting some of these leaves right here. I think this grass turned out nice. I like that grass. I switch brushes. I think I am going to throw that one, first one I was using and we'll toss it. Sometimes you just got to do that. I, I hate tossing them, but oh well. A lot of brushes I'll keep for a long time, but fan brushes is one of the things when it gets all tore up on the ends, you, you can't do a lot with them. Some brushes you can save and use them for other things. Just not, I, I, can't, I can't do fan brushes that way. It just don't seem to work. But I'm lightly hitting this. Just where I think the sun would be catching. Just like we do anything else. I'm just using pure cad yellow light at this point. I got a big brush here. I, this is a number four. I normally don't d use a, such a big brush for this, but oh well, I am today for some reason. And I'm just touching along the edges. Take a look at this. Smudge this up a little bit, looking a little too uniform. And we don't want that. Maybe because I'm using this big brush, it's looking that way. I normally don't, like I said, I normally don't use a brush quite this big. But I had it in my hand. So 
already in my hand, so I decided to use it. Yeah, that don't look too bad. I don't know what, I was thinking about putting a tool maybe over here, maybe a rain barrel, but I use rain barrels a lot, but they, they fit the picture. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the rain barrel. They certainly fit with the barn painting. And let's take a look here at this. Got to kind of use our imagination in this spot. Okay, let me hit a little bit here to the top. Okay, it don't look too bad. I might, I think I'm gonna put some few flowers on this here in a minute, since I get this all adjusted. But anyways, I'll be back here in a minute. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing, keep you up, keep you up to date. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna put some flowers up here. I got started right here. I'm putting some red, nice red flowers on here to give this painting some nice color. And I'm starting with a lizard and crimson. I think I'm gonna put one right here. And I get I get a pretty good amount on here. The reason is I just put these in. You guys see me do that a minute ago. Let's put one right here. So you, so you got to kind of load your brush up. This is a lizard and crimson. We're going to start with this collar. And let's put one right here. Looks like that needs something. How about one right here? I like collar in my paintings, man. I like I like my paintings to look happy. That's just how I am. I don't want no depressing paintings. <laughs> I get depressed enough when they turn out bad. No, I'm just kidding you. Okay, let's take some Cad Red Light. Probably my second favorite color. One of my two favorites. As you, some of you have heard me say before. Because man, look at that. It just makes it pop. Just makes it pop. I just love that collar. I'd use it all the time if I could. Can't do it all the time though. Can't use it all the time. But man, I sure like it. It's so bright. Now I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to try something different. I was using the same brush and, I, and it's turning it pink. So I'm going to take a clean brush with some white on it. I just like putting white on it just for an extra color basically. I like it to... See that's okay right there. I don't want a lot of it. I just want it to just be there. I'm trying to get some clean white. Without too much red mixed in. That's probably good. See like this one right here, it's it's too pink. I put too much white on it. But it's okay, I mean. It's nothing horrible or anything. I put a gob on there that time, but it looks okay pink one here. I might as well just put more white on it. Well guys that looks like a wrap. Man I, I really like this one. You guys see my pitchfork here? <laughs> Fits with the barn don't it? Hey guys don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos and thanks for watching.